Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So here behind me, if you've been watching my videos, I have my brother Andy's vehicle, a 2020 Mazda CX-5. And so it looks clean, right? Well, that's because we went ahead and did a full uh, decon wash. We dried it and it's ready for protection because we're applying a new coating on this. You will finally find out what we decided to apply. Uh, by the way, my cameraman for today is my brother Andy. Hey guys. Uh, Andy, you know my lover, my viewers, not my lovers, my <laughs> viewers absolutely love having you on the show and uh, they love send you well. all, all their love. I'm blessed to have a great brother. And so what we did in the previous video, we did an update, a two-year update on the performance of the coating that was on there. And on this vehicle, we had applied uh, over two years ago at this point now, the Avalon King Armor Shield 9 ceramic coating. So this is a uh, two-year protection. So ceramic coating, by the way, is probably my favorite form of paint protection because it lasts a lot longer than traditional carnauba waxes or synthetic paint sealants, gives you hydrophobic properties, UV protection, gloss slickness, makes the vehicle a lot easier to clean during maintenance washes, so on and so forth. But a lot of you guys who have tested the Avalon King Armor Shield 9 really, really liked it. And many of you had two to three years of protection, depending on your climates with proper maintenance, so on and so forth. I highly encourage you to check that video out and check out the viewer comments, which were very good. I like to have feedback from you guys. Uh, but one thing is that Avalon King truly listens to customer feedback. So by the way, they sent something special today and I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. Uh, also, I'll include all the links that you guys need to check out in the description under the video so you guys can check everything out. You have to just sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So they listened to viewer feedback and what they noticed is that what you guys were saying for many years now is even more durability. They wanted uh, in e even um, quicker and or shorter, should I say, drawing time or curing time. So instead of the 24 to 48 hours with the original formula, people wanted something to cure a lot quicker, but they also still wanted the ease of application. They wanted the great price, right? Uh, they wanted that, again, this for a beginner coating, by the way, this is still one of the easiest. It is the easiest to apply that I've ever tested uh, on my channel. Channel. So if you've never applied a coating before in your life, you can try the Avalon King Armor Shield 9. It will still be available for sale as the beginner coating. Uh, and also the inexpensive price. That was a good thing, right? So they're continuing that and they're unveiling. This is fresh off the press, guys, by the way. This is the new Avalon King Armor Shield Max. So this here has many, many new features. We're gonna go over it. The packaging is insane. We're gonna do the unboxing. You're gonna see me do the demo, the application, and we're gonna come back to see the final results. And I'm also gonna give you some quick and simple maintenance tips. So you're gonna learn everything there is to know about it. So what's so special? First of all, let's look at the packaging. Give them thumbs up, because again, guys, beautiful packaging. This matte black appearance with what seems like kind of water droplets baked onto the package. Super simple, very nice. And look at this, snap back to open it up, buckle up, the thing's about to get real. I absolutely love their marketing. Look at the bottle itself. So this is the Armor Shield 9 Max coating. We'll just call it the Avalon King Max ceramic coating for this vehicle. Beautiful bottle in a matte black appearance. And this is a 30 mil version. They will have a 50 mil kit that's coming later. But Pan, you're probably asking, what is this about? Let's continue first of all, what's inside the box, what else do you get? So we get a new applicator. This one here is a microfiber applicator that's more bendable, larger surface, can contour better, and is gonna make the application even easier. Uh, by the way, this is not the final, final production yet, so it might differ a bit, but note that you're getting a different applicator as well, so that's good. They supply a nice plush microfiber towel. All you need really for this is one towel, but I'll use the two towel method for this video if you don't mind. Uh, you have some nitrile gloves, always very important to wear gloves uh, when you're applying ceramic coatings. And you have their very simple instructions that are done with pictograms. So basically shake the bottle, a few droplets on the applicator, you apply in a crosshatch pattern, and then you uh, simply level and buff off and you let the coating dry. And that's it, or you let the coating cure, should I say. So what's so special about this? First of all, the biggest headline, they listened to you guys' feedback, more durability. So instead of a two-year guarantee protection like their original formula, this one here is a three-year coating now, so even more durability. They have more gloss, more slickness built in. You're still getting UV protection, but the curing time now is of only four hours. 
That's insane. Compared to 24 to 48 hours for the previous formula without any exposure to water or rain, once you're done applying this, four hours later, you can drive off in the elements. If there's water, no problem. There's still a slight recommendation, if you can, for the first four to 12 hours, if there is water on the vehicle, just dry it off after you're back. But note that the curing time is of only four hours, so very, very quick curing. By the way, another thing they listen to in the feedback, instead of two layers recommended like the Armor Shield 9, the beginner coating, this new Armor Shield 9 Max is a one layer coating. That is it. So you apply it, one coat, you're done. They still manage to keep the price amazing, by the way, which is great because I'm seeing more and more of these coatings, sometimes $300 coatings out there. Uh, that's not what Avalon King is about. They're about value for money. But what they manage to do with this, they still promise to keep that ease of application. And that's exactly what we'll be doing to test this today. So what do you have to do to prep the vehicle? What did we do? So in the previous video, we already had done the full decon wash. Uh, we had done the iron remover. Uh, afterwards, I had also done a uh, clay stage to remove any light contamination. Uh, it wasn't really needed in in this case because there wasn't that much embedded contamination. That's pretty much it. The coating did its job. As you guys can tell, it's still a glossy vehicle. So the coating, while it was there, did a fantastic job at protecting the paint, which is what we want it to do, is to protect the clear coat underneath. So today, just as a measure of precaution, we went ahead and used their own Avalon King prep products, which I also highly recommend because they work super well. So first of all, their prep shampoo. This is to help remove any old waxes or sealants to start breaking down that older protection if you have anything left on there. Make the surface squeaky clean. So we went clean the wheels and tires first, uh, did the whole foam cannon, the uh, wash, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this one here is about an ounce for every gallon of water. Put that in your wash bucket. You mix it up, you wash the vehicle. We used uh, the uh, microfiber wash mitt from Avalon King once again to do that. Uh, then we dried the entire vehicle. As I said, the full decon was also done previously. So iron remover, uh, clay bar, if you need to polish the paint. So if you need to remove any oxidation, uh, any swirl marks, any scratches, go ahead and do so. So bring the paint to what you want for a desired level of finish. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? You don't have to polish paint to apply a ceramic coating. You could just wash the vehicle. If there's no protection on it, make sure you dry it. And then the minimum step is to do an IPA prep. And so they have their own Avalon King IPA paint prep spray, which smells super, super nice, by the way. So this is basically an isopropyl alcohol mix to remove uh, any uh, maybe hand fingerprint smudges on there, or if you've finished your polishing stages to remove any polishing oils and residue. Again, making sure that the surface is squeaky clean and you're working with virgin clear coat because ceramic coatings need to bond directly to a virgin clear coat free of any previous protection. Now, if you do have a previous coating that you want to remove, or a layer of wax or sealant, you can do at least a light polish step. The mechanical abrasion really helps to prep the surface and strip away all of those previous protectants to make sure, again, you have a virgin clear coat. Finish off with your IPA paint prep spray and you're good to go. So let's dig right into the demo. So for the demo, I'll use the two towel method. So they have their own uh, all-purpose microfiber towels that I'm using here. This is gonna be the leveling towel. So a shorter nap, edgeless. I absolutely love it. And they also have their ultra plush microfiber buffing towel, this one here. This is gonna be for the final wipe and buff to a streak free shine. And it's very, very easy. So you're gonna wear the gloves. Either if you have some or wear some that are in the kit. What I like about the uh, Avalon King Armor Shield 9 Max uh, new coating or even the previous gen coating, uh, well, they're, they have everything you need inside there to do the job, so it's super simple. All right, take your coating. You're always gonna shake your bottle properly before you go ahead and apply it. We're gonna remove the cap. They have this dropper protector and you're going to prime the pad. So come on here. So you're gonna take your applicator. You don't forget you've shaken the, the bottle and you're going to prime it by applying a few drops of this directly on the applicator itself. There you go, especially the first time you prime it, you're gonna lead a little more. And after that, it's a matter of just replenishing when you're seeing that it's harder to drag. So now in movements of a cross hatch pattern, which means just like so, you're doing up and down and left to right movements. So of course, do not apply ceramic coatings in direct sunlight, guys. That's gonna not be a good user experience. That's not what they're meant for. And don't work if there's too much wind outside either. So see now I'm gonna replenish the coating with a bit of drops to continue applying. So work in the shade, always on a cool surface, if you can in a garage as well, but you can apply these outside, no problem. Again, 
in the shade and on a cool surface. Ideal temperatures always being around 68 degrees Fahrenheit uh, or 20 degrees Celsius. And now we're gonna cross hatch, which means we do the left and right at this point. And humidity anywhere around 40 to 45, those are ideal temps. But once again, of course, you can control mother nature if you're working outside. So as long as you're not working in direct sunlight, you're good to go. So this one here, once again, the simplicity of application. So after that, you're gonna start doing the uh, leveling of the coating to make sure you're not getting any high spots. And just like the previous version, this glides on so easily. So again, you're getting three years that they promise of durability out of this. You're getting more gloss, more slickness. You're getting that UV protection. You're getting the hydrophobic properties, meaning the water is gonna be very tight and is gonna sheet off very quickly. And it makes the vehicle a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes. You're getting it at an inexpensive price. And again, you're keeping the legendary ease of application of the Avalon King Armor Shield 9. So in this case, in the conditions we're working in, I'm in a controlled environment, 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I have time to do pretty much an entire section. So this is what I'm gonna do. You can work a bit quicker. So you know it's time to reload when you kind of feel that it starts to become a bit draggy on the surface, just add a few more drops. Very, very simple. This, by the way, is a very versatile coating, just like their beginner coating, the Armor Shield 9, the max coating can be applied on pretty much all the exterior surfaces. So paint, glass, lights, wheels, your plastics, all of that exterior stuff. So now it started to rainbow on the surface. It's not easy to see on camera, but it's basically like an oil slick on water appearance. You're gonna see this kind of color shift. That means that it's time to level the coating. So you're gonna take either the supplied microfiber towel, you're gonna to use one side to level the coating, then flip to the other side to buff to a streak-free shine. Or like in this case, I like the two towel method. So using the shorter nap multi-purpose microfiber towel for the first leveling. So leveling is you're making sure you're getting even coverage and you're picking up any residual stuff. And then the second towel, a bit plusher, I prefer that. That's make sure you have a streak-free finish. And again, you're not having any of those dry high spots. Those are the darker spots of coating. Make sure you work in a well-lit environment so you can look at your coating when you're applying it and just take your time to do things right. When you're starting, if this is your first time using a coating, pretty simple, just work in two by two sections. So work in smaller sections, apply it in a smaller spot, and then do the two towel method or the single towel if you wanna use the one that's in the kit, that's fine, but it's always very simple. So wipe off, oh yeah. <laughs> that's what I, you, you guys know, when I start smiling and laughing, that tells you that this is exactly what I was wanting, is that they're not losing the ease of application. This is buttery smooth to remove once again. They did it. So what we liked about the original Avalon King Armor Shield 9 coating is that it was the easiest coating on the market, the easiest DIY to apply. So it removed all the guesswork and all the stress from people not having to worry about high spots, flashing, leveling, all that kind of stuff. If you applied a wax before, you can apply the Armor Shield 9. Well, I'm happy to report that the uh, Armor Shield 9 Max, this new gen coating, works just as well. So we did the first leveling with a towel. We take our second clean and dry plusher towel now, and now we are going to level to a streak-free shine. I saw my brother's face because I can see him filming. He's already smiling. You enjoyed, Andy, the uh, first gen that we applied on this, the beginner coating, right? He loved it because, well, even when his car was dirty, he noticed that when he was parking this in parking lots, it was always glossier and cleaner looking than all the rest of the cars in the parking. Well, that is because you have a ceramic coating on your vehicle. So dirt sticks less to the surface. And now of course the pan test, Oof. yeah, this is good. They, <laughs> they did good with the slickness. All right, so we're gonna let this untouch now. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna show you a, a vertical panel so you can see how the application looks like there. We're gonna do the glass as well. And of course, at the end, we're gonna show you the end results. And I'm also gonna give you simple maintenance tips for this coating. So let me set the towels down here and come with me. Let's do the vertical panel, which is just as easy. So you probably saw a few of the uh, plastics that are on my uh, garage cabinets in the background. There is some updates coming to the garage. Stay tuned for more of that. So some light uh, modifications that are being done here. So 
there we go. Again, the simplicity of application. If you follow the instructions, you can't go wrong. You see here, I'm not stressed. I'm applying this left and right and up and down. And what this means, this is your cross hatch pattern. Why are we doing the cross hatch? It's to make sure that we have even coverage. By the way, another major, major thing for the Avalon King Armor Shield 9 Max, this new gen coating, it's a one layer coating, guys. So only one layer needed compared to the previous one, which they recommended two coats. So not only should it last a lot longer with those three years of protection, but it's also a lot quicker as a system because it's only one layer. So. Let's apply this. As you can tell, hopefully on camera, this is a breeze. It just glides on. I like this different style applicator. The previous applicator was the traditional uh, block, which is a bit stiffer. What I like about this new style is that it contours better. More and more uh, companies now are moving on to these kind of microfiber applicators because you can contour better. You can do quicker coverage. It's not as stiff. So as you can tell, very, very simple. The working time is also very forgiving on this coating because this is really meant for DIY. Professionals can also use this if they want to. By the way, look at this here. You see, I'm also coating the plastic trim because again, you can do plastics, paint, wheels, glass, lights, all the exterior surfaces of your vehicle. You can coat with this. You're gonna make them hydrophobic, give them UV protection, and make them a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes. So now we did the entire panel. The same process applies. All you have to do is take your two towels once again, and we are going to start to wipe. Leveling is easy. I mean, <laughs> the towel is just gliding. I love that. Look at that. It's effortless. So they did a fantastic job once again it takes all the guesswork away. You don't have to be there with a master chronometer and somebody timing your every move to make sure that you get it for a minute or two minutes or three minutes or you put it on there, you wait for the flashing to occur. So you're probably gonna see either that hazing or the rainbow effect. So that oil slick on water appearance. You take your first towel when that happens, you start gently wiping, that's your leveling. And then we have the second more plush towel here. And all we're doing now is we're buffing, picking up any resi residue that might be on there. And we're buffing to a streak free shine. Look at that. Oh yeah. Andy, now guys, by the way, my brother bought a new home. So for those who haven't seen the previous video, congrats, Andy. Drop a comment in the comment section. Tell him he worked hard to be there in his life. I'm super proud of him. He did all that on his own. So uh, yeah, proud moment. So he's a brand new homeowner. And now he promised me that he will have the space and time when they're finished paving the roads because it's a new construction. So there he's gonna be able to take care of his vehicle. And of course, having this now, this slickness is so good. Oh yeah, I love that. So having a ceramic coating on your vehicle, Andy, well, now is gonna make things a lot easier as well. So let's do the glass because we wanna see how the effect is on the glass. I'm gonna take the applicator. So you saw it on a flat panel, on a vertical panel. The same applies for the plastics, you saw that. And the glass is the same, just reload your microfiber because it's already primed. And now, because the previous protection on the glass from another brand was also done, so now it's time to replenish. So what I like about this is the fact that it's versatile, which means one coating does all these different surfaces. You don't have to buy a separate glass coating. You don't have to buy a separate plastics coating. You don't have to buy a separate wheels coating. You don't have to buy a separate paint coating. So one bottle and you're doing all of that. By the way, with one bottle, you can likely apply a uh, layer on the paint easily to two or three average size cars. But if you're coating, of course, all the glass, the wheels, the plastics, the lights, and your paint, you're gonna have a 30 mil, should easily do an average size vehicle, perhaps two if you thin it out a bit. So you're getting tremendous value and you're not breaking the bank with these coatings, guys. There you go. So 
The goal, again, with coatings, doesn't really matter if you do circular motion because there's no abrasives. So if you prefer circular motion, use circular motion. If you prefer straight lines, like I tend to like on ceramic coatings, do that. So we're looking at it on the surface now. I'm looking for a bit of hazing and that rainbowing. Again, I'm working in perfect uh, controlled environment. So usually what we say, if you work in a more warm and more humid environment, the coating is gonna flash or give that rainbow effect a lot quicker. And if you're working in cooler temperatures, well, the flashing time is gonna be a lot longer. So uh, be mindful of that. And um, yeah, like I said, you can apply this coating in direct, uh, outside, but not in direct sunlight. That is not a good thing to do with any coating, by the way. So you wanna work in the shade, always on a cool surface, or like in my case, in a garage, and so we're ready to start leveling this again. <laughs> the wipe off. <laughs> Avalon King, thumbs up. You guys managed to maintain the ease of removal of the previous coating, which is why people really, really fell in love with it. It removed all the guesswork and all the stress from these glass bottle coatings that a few years ago were so difficult to apply. They were only reserved to professionals because you needed more techniques. You needed equipment like infrared curing lamps to apply them and all that kind of stuff. You had to worry about flashing times, curing times, high spots. They were tacky on removal, but now they've proven that you can make coatings for the DIY, the weekend warrior, the consumer that can do it from the comfort of his own home. And this is as easy as applying a wax, guys. So there we go. And we did the glass too. That looks absolutely beautiful. And this too is slick. So what this does is it improves your clarity and visibility when you're driving in inclement weather. So when you have a coated windshield, believe me, once you have coated glass, you can go back. So the water is just gonna beat off and roll off as soon as you're rolling at higher speeds. So it evacuates all that water. It's not pooling up and it's a lot safer to drive when you have protected glass as well. So we're gonna continue doing the rest of the, the vehicle itself. We're gonna coat the glass. We're gonna do the, uh, the headlights, the taillights, all the plastics, all the paint. We're gonna come back. We're gonna show the end results and I'm also going to talk to you about how simple the maintenance is on this. So let's come back in just a few seconds. All right, guys. So have a look at the end results. I think that the results speak for themselves. It came out amazing. So the uh, gloss, the slickness, as to be expected, it looks amazing. But one thing I do want to note is that for ceramic coatings, don't forget that even after the first day of application, they continue curing for the next weeks. So what we're seeing here is only gonna get increased with time as it furthers its curing. So right now, four hours are needed indoors before exposing the vehicle to any water or rain. After that, my brother is free to drive off in the elements, no problem. If there's any water between four to 12 hours, just wipe it off, keep the car dry. But yeah, the initial four hours curing, super fast. The application was absolutely crazy easy. Uh, just as good as the original uh, Armor Shield 9 from Avalon King. And so, uh, yeah, I think the results speak for themselves once again. Gloss, slickness, ease of application, UV protection, three years of durability. Of course, you guys know I will be testing this in real world conditions. This is my brother's daily driver, so we're going to tune in every now and then for some updates. Let me know, by the way, if you guys are curious, are you going to be getting this coating? If you had experience with the first one, I know many of my viewers out there, uh, some of you in colder climates like here were asking asking uh, for more durability from Avalon King. Uh, you guys also wanted a one layer system and a quicker curing time. They answered to all of that. So one layer, only four hours of curing before exposing to water or rain, which is pretty quick, and also more durability. So three years instead of the previous two years uh, that they claim on this. Again, we're gonna be testing this. This should have great chemical resistance and all the good stuff and attributes that ceramic coatings are known for. So once again, in this video, uh, we used the prep shampoo from Avalon King to further prep the surface, make it clean. Obviously the uh, IPA prep spray, isopropyl alcohol mix, again, to remove uh, any leftover oils, blemishes, perhaps any older wax or sealant residue, if that's your case. In this case, we know there was nothing on the clear coat. All the decon was done and uh, we applied the coating. So by the way, their original Armor Shield 9, this is still a beginner coating. This 30 mil bottle at an inexpensive price, you can still get this. It will be available if you guys wanna start off with something less expensive. And still in the great value, we applied the Max version, so Armor Shield 9 Max. This 30 mil bottle, by the way, look how much is left here. Hopefully you can tell, can you see? There's a little more than half, I'd say, and we covered the glass, the plastics, the paintwork, 
and the headlights and taillights. So uh, yeah, a little well a long way. So you can do probably two average size uh, vehicles, even this SUV, the Mazda CX-5 for my brother. Everything you need comes inside the box. Again, I'll make sure to leave the links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, by the way, once again, Avalon King, tremendous work. They prove that they listen to the viewers. Uh, they saw the feedback over the years. They listened to you guys. I also was giving them my feedback every now and then during those three years now, I think, since I was introduced uh, to Avalon King initially. And you guys recommended that I try this in 2020. So I did. I'm glad I did. Um, again, so they have this beginner coating, very simple, two years of protection, uh, 24 to 48 hours of curing, uh, two layers recommended, one hour between each layer. Then you move up to the new Armor Shield 9 Max, this beautiful bottle. Uh, and yeah, the three years of durability, UV protection, increased gloss, increased slickness, great hydrophobic properties, self-maintenance, meaning it's very easy to maintain. I'll talk about maintenance in just a second. Uh, and of course, all the great attributes that ceramic coatings are known for, super tight, round water beading, great sheeting, and still at a great price. Once again, links in the description. By the way, uh, I don't know if they want me to say this or not, but there's another coating that they're working on, a completely new technology, by the way. So a very different formulation from the Max. It's gonna be coming out, I think, early 2024. Again, uh, we'll probably talk about it on my channel. We'll see about that. If you guys are interested, let me know, drop a comment. But they're claiming five years of durability on that one. Again, great new technology, completely different from their current offerings, uh, and also great uh, hydrophobic properties and oleophobic properties as well. Uh, that one will be a bit more for the prosumer or pro grade for professionals uh, alike. So they'll, you'll need a bit tighter conditions, so a more controlled environment to work in uh, as, well, we're, we're going to see about that later on, but it's going to be very interesting. So stay tuned for that. And they have a bunch of new products as well coming uh, to the market. So stay tuned. For maintenance, again, guys, very simple. Regular washing with a pH neutral wax-free car shampoo is what is recommended. I like washing my cars twice weekly. If you do it every week, every other week, whatever it is, just maintain your car often. Just wash it regularly. That helps to prevent water spot accumulation, bug gut acidic content that can etch through the clear coat. My brother's car wasn't super well maintained. He didn't have the facilities or time to do it. Uh, very busy life. He's a uh, person who bought a new home, so hopefully he'll go, he'll bring his game up for maintenance, but uh, we can tell there's a few nicks, dents, scratches, um, little watermarks potentially, little etching that went through the clear coat with uh, the bug guts, but overall it still looks very, very good. But if he had maintained it a bit more, it'd look even better. So now with this coating at least, it'll make his washes a lot easier. And again, for maintenance, just a pH neutral wax-free car shampoo. And the other thing you can do, they have in their lineup what they call the Avalon King Light. It's a spray-on light ceramic that you can use maybe once every two months, once every three months, or every wash if you want as a drying aid, that's fine as well. It can be applied on wet or dry. It's gonna just help to maintain the durability and to have you have the maximum performance over the lifespan of the coating. Of course, give me some updates and feedback when you guys apply this on your own car. Drop a comment in the comment section. I like to closely follow where you live so we know what kind of temperatures and conditions you're exposed to, the yearly mileage, what kind of maintenance you perform and that kind of stuff. But yeah, maintenance on coating, super easy. Regular washes, uh, use uh, either a graphene spray or a ceramic spray every other month, at least just to maintain that protection. And obviously, if you watch my videos, we all love to add a bit of gloss and slickness and to boost all that after we're done washing our cars, right? That's the whole point. We like taking care of our vehicles. So once again, uh, kudos to Avalon King. They did a great job with the Armor Shield 9 Max ceramic coating. Easy to apply. It was three years. UV protection. You're getting the hydrophobic properties, the gloss, the slickness, the uh, ease of use, The everything is in there. And you all, all have that in this gorgeous little packaging. Pick one, pick two, pick three. Give some out gifts to your friends and family. If you guys have applied a wax before, you can definitely apply a coating. So they did a great job. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the thumbs up button. That always helps to show me your support. And if you try this once again, let me know how you enjoyed it. Your feedback is always important to me as well. And I like to give feedback to the brands afterwards. So if this is a whole team effort. The pan, the organizer, subscribers are the best in the world. Thanks to Andy for being there. He helped film this video today. So he's thumbing that up and uh, yeah, hopefully he'll maintain. We're going to watch him. He has to maintain that car now. Uh, he has another great base to work with for the few years of uh, added protection. So thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and we'll see you on the next one.